Well, our today's topic is uh, describe yes. a difficult decision that you made. Describe a difficult decision that you made. अगर आपसे कहा जाए एक ऐसी डिसीजन को डिस्क्राइब करें जो आपने रिसेंटली या कभी लाइफ में जो आपके लिए बड़ा डिफिकल्ट था लेकिन आपने यू मेड इट सो यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट डिसीजन इट वाज व्हाट डिफिकल्टीज यू फेस्ड एंड हाउ यू मेड दैट डिसीजन एंड व्हाई इट वाज अ डिफिकल्ट डिसीजन ऑफ योर लाइफ इसके लिए हम सैंपल आंसर देखेंगे द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ Uh, please read it out. Whatever we like it or not, we all have made some Better. important decisions at some point. J. Okay, carry on. Yes. Decisions at some point of our lives because they allow us the opportunities not only to grow as a person. but also to adopt and adjust our life uh, strategy with the demand of time bas itna hi aur padhu main okay yes first paragraph okay so isme dekhiye whether we like it or not the word whether we use it when we have two options alternatively for example uh ye sample sentence dekhiye example sentence i can decide i cannot decide whether um it's good or bad for me so aapke paas do choices hain do situations hain alternatively aapne unko lena hai aapko samajh nahi aa rahi so you use the word whether whether we like it or not we have to make some important decisions at some points of our lives at some points ye phrase hum use karte hain uh just like some times or some moments but not specific at some points of our lives yani hamari zindagi mein baaz aise mukam aate hain lekin kaun se mukam hai wo they are not specific jab kisi aisi baat ke mutalliq hum discussion kar rahe hain likhna cha rahe hain to unke liye hum ye phrase use karenge some points of our lives and but also to adapt and adjust our life strategies adapt and adjust uh when we have to modify and change our behavior for a situation for a new situation we use the phrase adapt and adjust uh you have to adapt and adjust we have to adapt and adjust please note Is them down these are the important phrases jo hai in short bhi saath sath lete jaye sorry is it a phrase is it a phrase adopt and adjust Yes, yes, it's a phrase. Adapt and adjust. Uh, you can use these words together. Adapt and adjust. Ma'am, kindly please tell me again. Adapt and adjust. Is it Greek okay. for vocabulary? When yes, for your vocabulary, when you have to modify and change your behavior to a new situation, changing situation. we use this phrase life strategies it's related to our future we use the phrase life strategies with the demand of time demand of time challenges and requirements of our life our future so you can say it's demand of time okay the next paragraph Uh, I'm not okay. I'm not always good at making decisions. I worry about making the very uh, wrong choices and often seek advice from friends to help me think through the consequences of picking one option. Okay. The phrase "good at" यहाँ पे students mistake क्या करते हैं good in लिख देते हैं जब आप किसी काम में अच्छे होते हैं तो हम ये नहीं कहते uh, I'm good in this. or i am not good in that so we use the preposition at good at i am not good at that i am good at that so i am good at maths i am not good at maths so here we are saying not always good at making decision the next word seek advice and often seek advice from friends seek advice means asking for guidance 
किसी से सिंसियर गाइडेंस सिंसियर जो है वो हेल्प जो है या सजेशन मांगना सो विसे सीक एडवाइस कंसीक्वेंसेस कंसीक्वेंसेस ऑफ पिक इन वन ऑप्शन कंसीक्वेंस वर्ड यूज किया जाता है जो फाइनल रिजल्ट होता है ना एंड रिजल्ट उनको कहा जाता है आउटकम को कंसीक्वेंसेस वेल द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ ये कायनात को रिप्लाई करते हैं क्लास ज्वाइन कर लें ओके द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ सुमेरा आप रीड आउट करें इट वाज व्हेन आई प्रिपेयर्ड यस मैम it was when i prepared the application form for the university entrance exam that i had to make an important but difficult decision at that time i was at a crossroads where i had to decide which university to apply for mhm mm well an important but difficult decision is phrase ke liye hum ek word bhi use kar sakte hain a uh, crucial decision something very critical something very crucial something very challenging ye sabhi words hum use karte hain kisi aise cheez ke liye which is important but difficult okay so can you define i was at a crossroad where i had to decide crossroad ka meaning yahan kya aa raha hai that crossroad double mountain confused where to go Which way to go? Okay. Next paragraph. Uh, Asma, please read it out. Actually, my interest was. Actually, my interest was in economics, which was taught in two separate universities. Unfortunately, my sister, who graduated from an economics college, gave me some sound advice. Okay, uh, my interest was in economics, which was taught in two separate university. Fortunately, um, fortunately, can you tell me the synonym of fortunately? हम यहाँ इसको replace कैसे कर सकते हैं? Luckily, बिल्कुल. Luckily, fortunately, by luck. ये सभी words आप use कर सकते हैं. My sister gave me some sound advice. Sound advice. Here, sound means good. Good advice. Uh, an advice uh, given by a sincere person. A sensible advice given by a sensible person. So we say sound advice. Please note them down. Screenshots be sent out later, Jai. Well, next paragraph. Amna, please read it out. Having weighed up, having weighed up the pros and cons of each school, she encouraged me to choose the university specializing in international trade. Really about all the options. Okay, ये जो weigh up है, आह ये भी एक phrasal verb है. It means किसी चीज का अंदाजा करना टू जज समथिंग और सम वन टू इवेल्युएट समथिंग और टू थिंक केयरफुली थिंक टू मच अबाउट समथिंग और सम वन बिफोर टेकिंग अ डिसीजन सो वी से वेन अप सो हैविंग वेड अप जब हैविंग लग जाता है साथ और उसके बाद ईडी फॉर्म आ जाती है तो इसका मतलब होता है इस काम को करने के बाद हैविंग वेड अप अंदाजा लगाने के बाद अच्छी तरह सोच विचार करने के बाद the pros and cons it means a uh, positive and negative aspects of something advantages and disadvantages merits and demerits pros and cons of each school okay finally i applied for a uh, finally means eventually finally ki jagah hum phrase use kar sakte hain for eventually ab ye words dekhiye fortunately uh finally 
और इसी तरह से जैसे आगे ये है एट प्रेजेंट जैसे पीछे हमने फॉर्चुनेटली भी ये पढ़ा ये वर्ड्स जो है ना ये लिंकिंग वर्ड्स या लिंकिंग फ्रेजेस कहलाती हैं ये क्या काम करती हैं ये लिंक जो है बिटवीन वन पैराग्राफ टू नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ इस तरह से हमारी राइटिंग में हमारी जो बॉडी ऑफ तैसी है उसके अंदर फ्लो कायम रहता है हमारी जो बात है जो हम पहले कह चुके हैं और आगे जो लिखने जा रहे हैं उसके अंदर एक कनेक्शन सा रहता है सो so, ये जो लिंकिंग वर्ड्स हैं हम जब अपनी बात जब एक सेंटेंस खत्म कर लेते हैं या एक पैराग्राफ खत्म कर लेते हैं नेक्स्ट जो सेंटेंस है कोशिश करें कि उसको किसी भी लिंकिंग वर्ड से स्टार्ट करें जैसे उर्दू में ये वर्ड्स होते हैं ना बिलाखिर और उसके बाद आ, फिर ऐसा हुआ कि ये जो वर्ड्स हैं यानी ये बताते हैं यानी जो बात पीछे जा रही है उसके बाद नेक्स्ट बात इसका कनेक्शन जो है वो इस तरह से मिल रहा है सो जैसे फॉर्चुनेटली पीछे जो बात हो रही है आगे हम बात करना चाह रहे हैं कि फॉर्चुनेटली फिर ऐसा हुआ फाइनली यानी पीछे बात खत्म हो गई है फाइनली अब ये जो फाइनली है ये प्रीवियस पैराग्राफ भी और नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ जो है उसको लिंक कर रहा है आपस में सो दीज लिंक इन वर्ड्स आर कंसिडर्ड गुड फॉर गुड सेल्फ राइटिंग नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस सुमारा प्लीज रीड इट आउट एट प्रेजेंट आई फील एट प्रेजेंट आई फील सो सेटिस्फाइड विद द लर्निंग एनवायरनमेंट of this university that i am always thankful for my decision as well as my sister's advice without her mm-hmm. guidance i probably with couldn't wouldn't be at um, be as content with my university life as i am as i am. okay at present uh, i feel so satisfied at present means right now abhi is waqt currently jaise hum kehte hain na uh at this moment right now right this moment so hum kahe just presently ye sabhi ek dusre ke synonyms hai at present i'm so satisfied satisfied and the word content ab ye dekhiye is jo word isko content nahi bolna content jo hai uske bhi spelling yahi hai lekin wo it, it means uh material mawad lekin yahan pe jo content hai it means satisfied i feel so content i feel so satisfied satisfied ki jagah hum likh sakte hain gratified koshish kare jo words aapko pehle se aate hain unko use karne ke bajaye new jo unke synonyms hain aap wo use kare apni speaking mein bhi aur writing mein bhi i feel so gratified with the learning environment gratified g r a T I F I E D. Yes, yes, content. Content. Mm-hmm. content. It's I am right? so content. Mm hmm. G R A G R A F I E D. G R A T I. Okay, just like gratitude, gratified. So next word, I probably wouldn't be as content. Probably uh, means almost certainly. A word होता है ना certainly. It means uh, surely, hundred percent sure. When we are hundred percent sure, we say certainly. But when we are not hundred percent sure, but um, almost certainly, not at all, but eighty eighty percent. So we say probably. Just like perhaps, or इसके जगह हम सिनोनिम ये भी यूज़ कर सकते हैं possibly. Wouldn't be as content, as satisfied, as peaceful. When someone is peaceful, satisfied by a mind, so we say she is so content. It is the synonym of the word satisfied. Also the word gratified, na? Yes, 